Well, the International Crisis Group has said that Rohingya Muslims who attacked the Myanmar border guards in October last year were being headed by people with links to Saudi Arabia and Pakistan. Now, the coordinated attacks on the 9th of October had killed nine policemen and it sparked a massive crackdown by the Myanmar security forces in the Muslim-majority northern sector of the Rakhine province in the country's northwest. Now, Myanmar's de facto leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, has been claiming that the hand of foreign militants in the state of Rakhine cannot be ruled out. Now, in February 2017, Myanmar's visiting national security advisor, Yu Thaung Tun, was also told that Pakistan's lashkar e taiba was involved in radicalizing members of the community. Now, an official was quoted as saying that Rohingya radicals are being abetted by the Lashka and this will have consequences for the region and we've advised them to find a political solution to the issue soon. Unquote. Now, in fact, Lashkar chief Hafiz Saeed has accused India of aiding Myanmar against the Rohingyas. Now, intelligence input from Bangladesh have reportedly confirmed the Lashkar link of being involved in the Rohingya attacks against the Myanmar establishment. Now, the military chief of the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army is one Hafiz Tohar, who reportedly has trained in Pakistan. He maintains close ties with the Lashkar e Taiba. The phone intercepts have revealed him discussing attack plans with the ISI officials. He is suspected to have orchestrated the attacks on the Myanmar army and the police last October and recently in the month of August last month. And also according to reports, recruitment for the ARSA, that is the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army, is happening in the Rakhine state in Myanmar and across the border in Bangladesh's Cox Bazar, where thousands of Rohingya refugees have come up in the de through the dense jungles of the Chittagong Hill Tracks to train the new recruits at the Hill Tracks border, Bangladesh and India's Tripura state. The United Nations, in its latest, latest estimate, has said that at least 2 lakh 70,000 members of the stateless Rohingya minority. Remember, Myanmar has said in their new law in the year 1982 that Rohingyas are not the citizens of Myanmar, despite the fact that they've lived there for generations. And about 2 lakh 70,000 of them have fled across the border to Bangladesh, trying to escape the ethnic persecution that they suffer there. Now, with such a dramatic jump in the total number of fleeing the violence in Myanmar, it leaves a large space which is open for radicalization of Rohingyas by different terror groups based out of Pakistan and Saudis for the jihadist activities in Southeast region and also possibly in the West. Meanwhile, Malaysia has agreed to provide temporary shelter to the Rohingya Muslims fleeing the violence in Myanmar and protests continue to be held across India and other parts of the world against the alleged systematic persecution of the Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar. Now, the leader, the de facto leader of Myanmar, someone who was in prison herself for several decades to try and bring about democracy in Myanmar, Aung San Suu Kyi, has now come under growing international pressure to halt what has effectively been termed as ethnic cleansing by the security operational who are the military forces who are operating in the Rakhine state. Now, in a rare letter to the United Nations Security Council, written by the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, he has warned that the operations by the army in Myanmar could amount to ethnic cleansing of the Rohingya Muslims.